Welcome back, Real People, Real Life, and Joey switched out seats with Fossa just for a little bit because we're still <laughs> talking to Jennifer Basinger here, and she is with the Coalition for a Better Wichita, and basically this is the group that says we don't want the sales tax increase. Right. Okay. Um, we had a question, another one we wanted to well, get we to. We did, and it really revolves around trust. Um, Danny asked, you know, after the, the arena, and I know it wasn't Wichita, but it's government in general. After the arena with no parking, small seats, uncomfortable, after the school district got all the money, and then they wasted on a $54 million Taj Mahal, $54 million and counting, mm -hmm. why should we trust the city now on this? That's such a common sentiment I hear from so many people. Mm -hmm. we, we couldn't even get the snow removal hand, handled properly. Right. Yeah. And that list goes on and on. Mm -hmm. And we're not able to know what the plan is. Right. I, we just don't have a clear understanding. It's not detailed. It's not laid out. People are suspicious. They're suspicious of the incentives fund. They're suspicious I of am. backroom deals. Nobody, I'm a business owner. I, I don't think I'm going to be involved in that in any way. Backroom deals in this town? Yeah, maybe. Ah, maybe. Yeah. That's how people yeah. feel. They really do. They yeah. really are nervous about yeah. that. I saw, I think it was in the opinion line or or maybe in the comments section on the Eagle somewhere, someone referred to it as a black hole. And, and that's just how people perceive that jobs fund, this black hole of money. That uh, It concerns me. And, and one of the viewers also asked, um, you know, how do we know for a fact? Okay, because we don't know. Okay, but I would like to know, how do we know for a fact that this is not um, a, a sales tax increase for the betterment of all these wonderful things, when in fact it may be just an opportunity for our uh, lovely city council members to get a pay raise? raise. Ooh, that's interesting. Yeah, that's a good question. I, have you read the wording? I'm confused. It's, it's that's, really that was something vague. I wanted to ask you about. Um, so this is written, but yet as it's written, everybody still is looking at it like what? It's vague. It's very it's vague. Just so it's just a bunch of words, and it really funds. doesn't say anything. Right. No. Just for for job development or for transit. What could transit when mean? When does the government develop jobs other than government jobs? Exactly. Exactly. That's and that's right. exactly why that that person asked that question. You know, he was like, mm -hmm. every time I turn around, when the government is talking about creating jobs, it seems to him, after years and years of watching all this, that it's government jobs that are created. Mm -hmm. And then when we got a police department that goes in front of the city council to shove their job off on the private sector on a regular basis, mm -hmm. it seems like we ought to lay off part of the police department. But didn't they just do a, a huge increase? Well, yeah. To increase and, and, the police and, force here, and you know, our, our police chiefs retire, and now, and of course, there's, there's, there's the little stories that uh, domestic violence is his big problem, and that's what he's ducking out of. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I don't get into all that stuff because I, I wasn't there. I can't say definitively one right. way or another whether he's a good or bad guy. What I do know is when they they come to me on a regular basis as a club owner and they want to try to create club owners that are police department entities and we have to take care of all security for our parking lot and our mm -hmm. and our surrounding streets and it, it just seems to me that why are we paying a police department right, right. Uh, they they want to start charging for having an alarm system right I know <laughs> why yeah, are know. we paying for a police department right. and this all fits into that same line they want more money for all this frivolous spending and then we get central inspection that goes out there writing up ridiculous stuff to justify their job right. uh, I see that yeah. I see I'm that. of the opinion that we have a leadership vacuum in Wichita there's just I like that like thank you yeah. there's just no leadership there's no clear vision I don't think Wichita's really know where we're going as a city we aren't working toward a, a laser focus or toward a goal there are pockets of people with ideas and uh, we, now now attacks people can't get the vision. If there was right. a vision and we understood where we were going, maybe things would be different, right. but there's no leadership. Right. Well, wow. Well, um, I thought I saw the city said at one point they had something like 60, 65% of respondents to the poll wanted a sales tax. Do you think that'll hold up underneath the a little bit further uh, detail. You need to go back, and I think you know the answer to this. What did that poll look like? What did those questions Very really look like? And high in the sky. You was know, there an alternative I to I yes? Asked a question. Yeah. But you know how <laughs> polls are. We've we've talked about polls, yeah. okay? Right. And I will tell you this: polls can be manipulated, okay, to give the opinion, the 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 look, the flavor that you want. Okay, it depends yeah. on who you poll. Okay, and then the certain type of questions you ask. It's all so, about yeah. well, I mean, yeah. you can word a question exactly. to make it sound like 
Yeah, it's, sure. Like you're not actually asking what you're asking. I mean, and you can keep it vague enough that it could imply to a thousand different things. You so know? true. Or would you like a sales tax for water or would you like to thirst to death? Oh, oh okay. come on. Well, yes. yes. And well, some when you put it that way. Exactly. feel that way. Yeah. Some, and some of those particular poll questions early on in this process were very much that either or mentality. Yeah. I don't so like that. I don't that support may have been somewhat manufactured, maybe? Potentially. Well, well I guess we'll find out in November, won't we? That's right. Well, let's find out. Yeah. Jennifer, if people have more questions, because I'm sure they do, and I'm going to keep oh, asking. Right. Just, okay. Yeah. How can we get a hold of you and or Coalition for a Better Wichita? The easiest way is the website. It is www.abetterwichita.com. A better Easy. Wichita. A better com. Com. We'll put that up on our Facebook page for anybody who wants to get a hold of Jennifer and her yes, group. Yes, perfect. A better Wichita. Com. A better Wichita. Com. And, and you guys are keeping that website up to date as far as the latest uh, and what the city is uh, coming out there with. But I haven't really seen anything change much other than, you know, water, 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 you know, and then I know there was this, you know, jobs slush fund um and like you said a little bit on the transit and a mm -hmm. little bit on the streets mm -hmm. is this the right here that i'm looking at the most accurate percentages uh last i've known yes okay. yeah okay so so just the bulk of it uh, you know close to 85 percent for water and jobs so i wow well okay. yeah okay you know, transit and streets i i really think a lot of people feel like that money should be coming from the general budget that there should I be a way to find that. that money there well, well how did we have better streets when we had a three percent sales oh, tax? Just thank you. we did we did have better streets well if in the 50s there was a lot of our neighborhoods that were built and they were put together with these concrete slabs and then there's a joint and another concrete mm -hmm. slab Correct. So you're driving down the road one click 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 click, click. Yeah. and these streets are all over wichita but this is 50 and 60 and 70 year old concrete that right. is still holding up mm -hmm. today because they add so much fly ash to the mix every two years you got to fix the concrete that they just put in how isn't it more affordable just to do it the old way why wouldn't yeah why wouldn't we build things that are going to last right. rather than this built-in obsolescence that we we seem to subscribe to uh, it, it makes no sense that we spend the amount of money we do and we've got a lesser product exactly mm -hmm. exactly mm -hmm. exactly that's that's the big concern i have right now you know whether it's at the city level the county level the state level you know my biggest thing is the fact that there just doesn't seem to be any accountability. Does yeah. that no? I think understand? you're. I think you're right. Yeah. I saw an interesting comment regarding water recently that talked about the potential for using bonds to fund the water, mm -hmm. but it was easier to do the sales tax. Easier, easier for who? Easier for, easier easier for, who? for who? That's the it's okay. Not easier for the family of four. No, you know that's, that's right. trying to pay the bills. And I heard right. an argument a while back at the at the club where somebody was saying, "Well, Wichita has expanded, and now there's no more people using the water." So therefore, the the cost of, of Actually, delivering that water true. is Actually, not that is not, so that my, is not true. We have not expanded. Was, my retort was, if you have more people using water, you have more right. people paying for water. Okay. So, so that, yeah. that is a ridiculous argument. Right. Um, I Actually, can believe maybe grow. infrastructure was, it would at some point have to expand to deal with a larger city. I don't see that Wichita's expanded that much to outgrow our, our infrastructure yet. As we say that, they're right. putting in new pumps out there. Right. So. Uh, I, I, it's all from is there the any hope for a point where they're going to make somebody go paragraph by paragraph and explain in detail, like, okay, so what did you mean by this? I don't and think so. What I, did you mean by, you know? Sure. Well, is there any hope for what, that? Now, we're, we're, um, the Coalition for a Better Wichita be holding any kind of informational meetings where people can come we out can and ask hear these more. Questions. And, yes, you know. our plan is to start having town hall meetings okay. um, and informational things like that. Just right. all sorts of things that'll help educate the public. But you've got to remember, November's a ways away. Not so, really. Not really. Yeah. Well, not really. That, that's <laughs> true. Do you think people <laughs> will make their mind up on this issue early? Do you think they'll wait till closer to November? Do you I think, think people you make up your know? mind right away when you see this, okay? And so where they got that 65%. I, I don't know because if it was written like hey would you like to take some more extra money out of your pocket and hand it to uh, somebody else that right and, and we're no, not really it would be no <laughs> right yeah, so well, you, right. Like, you buy a hundred dollars worth of groceries now instead of buy I'm gonna buy ninety nine because I got to pay an extra dollar for sales tax what effect will that have on businesses 
Like Joe's. Watch how fast right. people start going to uh, Goddard to use their Walmart instead of the mm-hmm. local ones. I mean, right. It'll happen. Because it will happen. When your grocery bill is large, and there's some families that'll spend four and five hundred dollars when they mm-hmm. go to the grocery store, it now warrants because of the sales tax difference the extra ten dollars in gas to drive to a smaller Absolutely. town. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And right. there's some of them that are pinching things that close. They're going to have to do that. So the net effect is we actually rein in less taxes when we run more mm-hmm. sales outside. Of town it happened we, we keep we, doing unappealing yeah. things we, we, yeah, we keep doing these crazy things and always blows my mind but um mm-hmm. i do want to say one more time you know a better com. okay and thank you so much jennifer for coming out today thank you for having me man we got to get the word out okay because right. even though november seems like it's a long ways away it's really not well, right you know i for one i'm really looking forward to our guests next week to get the other side of this and to find out who is in favor of it and why we should be in favor of it i have a good idea now to listen to your presentation why I should have a lot more questions. I still am left with a lot more questions. I just yeah. think that the way it stands right now, it's too vague. I, and just in my personal opinion, of course, that doesn't mean hoot to anybody, but I, I, maybe a few people. I agree. Me. I just don't think the city has done due justice in explaining, you know, well, in more detail, weeks. Yeah. you know, what exactly is going on here. I just think it's too vague. There I, are I a lot of vague. people, too, still that would still vote no, even if it were detailed, because the trust isn't there. No and matter how they exactly. feel, they when still it, won't trust them. The exactly. Trust when it, it's just when an individual mm-hmm. person's being vague, they're being vague for a reason. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Okay, so there's a reason behind their vague mm-hmm. wording in this, so, yeah. Well, all I can say is I want to make sure that everybody pays attention. Jennifer, please Thank keep you. us posted. I will. Yes. Thank okay, you. as we keep rolling along. Mm-hmm. And I hope you tune in next week, and, and uh, let's find out. You know the gentleman that's going to say, "Yeah, this is a great thing." You know, John is considered to be their best, and you know John actually. We go to church together. Mm-hmm. Oh, opposite yeah. sides of the room. Yeah, yeah I was going to say. <laughs> okay, and one of you all sitting over here. Did you have anything to say this week about it, or did you know you yeah. were going to be on TV? No, 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 he didn't. He's out of town. Well, Either yeah. that or he's backsliding. Yeah. I don't uh, know. Who knows? Oh. We, we got to take a break. We'll oh, be right, right back here, real people, real life. All right. Real People, Real Life is brought to you by these fine sponsors. Breaking auto sales is getting better all the time. We're doing it better. We're doing it better all the time. Saving you money big time and saying thank you, Kansas, for making Credit King Auto Sales the number one buy here, pay here dealer. Number one for sales, service selection, and customer satisfaction. Right now, our summer blowout sale is going on with, get this, two years of free gas only at Credit King Auto Sales at the King's Corner, 31st South and Broadway. GoCreditKing.com. Hammond Liquor, home of the coldest beer in town and the lowest prices store-wide. For all your special events, your friends at Hammond Liquor have what you need from beer, wines, spirits, champagne, and more. Open till 8 p.m. every Sunday, Hammond Liquor, West Kellogg and Tyler Road. Knapp Weaponry is the home of Wichita's newest indoor temperature-controlled shooting range. Mention this ad for two-for-one pricing weekdays from noon to four. Knapp Weaponry is an NRA Business Alliance member that offers NRA and state-certified instruction classes, training, and women's unarmed self-defense classes. We buy and sell new and used guns and offer gunsmith services. Knapp Weaponry offers a free-range session with the purchase of a new gun. We also offer transfer services and an array of ammo. Knapp Weaponry, the West Side's best-kept secret. Karma Connections 1123 East Douglas wants everyone to enjoy awesome karma. From our one-of-a-kind natural healing arts massage therapies to our plant shop now open with specials every day. Unique gifts, one-of-a-kind finds, treasures made by local artists. A must-see, our new line from House of Fur Babies. Our fur babies love some awesome karma too. Check out the Bacon Cave, home of WorldwideBaconRock.com radio. From our family to yours, love, peace, natural healing, wonderful giggles, always awesome karma. At Economy Motors, we know that everything costs more these days. Gas costs more, utilities cost more, groceries cost more. But what's one thing that will not cost you more? Buying your next vehicle with us. Everything we have is priced $12,995 or under. Bad credit, no credit, no worries. No crazy gimmicks and no bait and switch. We keep it real. Economy Motors, home of easy pay. We've got your back. Don't worry, please. Don't worry. Because at Economy Motors, we got your back.
good evening once again welcome back real people real life right here from wichita kansas america america Ooh, america america, america. 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 But, you know, I, but i'm really excited okay because this okay. is our spotlight on local Woo, business yeah. okay? nice topic too and i'm so excited yes we're all going on a vacay um yeah. no this is like so cool we have jay dill who is the owner of the travel junkie yeah, jay welcome thank, thank you, you so much thank you and just from personal experience i I love to travel, as you all know. Um, I went, you guys booked a fantastic vacation for me to um, to Cancun back in February. And I took my daughter, and it, um, it was kind of a Christmas birthday present. And oh, it was I remember fantastic, this trip. Okay? Until. Oh, my God, it's fantastic, right? And then it's our last night there, and I'm like, this is kind of sad. I really don't want to leave. Loving the room, loving the beach, little odds. I see and cold back home. And then, Robin? your flight has been canceled. I'm like, ah! anyway, so you guys worked, I mean, seriously, night and day. Yeah. It was it was 24 hours, okay? Um, I mean, you guys did phenomenal, okay? Thank you. You kept me in my room for one more night, okay? Uh, and then, you know, we got into Atlanta, and Atlanta was iced in. Okay, mm. so we're flying in, and I'm looking out the window going, holy <laughs> crap, this isn't going to be good, mm. you know. But my daughter has a seizure disorder, right. we now know is epilepsy. She was running, she just took enough meds, okay, for that that time frame, and that was mm. it. So when we got in, uh, Lori, okay, which was, that works for you, um, she was doing everything she could, you know, to get us to a room, even though there was maybe only six working taxis in Atlanta, you know, because the rest wow. of them were wrecked. Um, you guys did phenomenal. I can't say thank you enough. I mean, thank you. Oh, well, you, you're definitely welcome. Um, you know, it's part of what we do. You know, yeah. we do have 24-7 travel support, and, and I know Lori was all over your situation, yes. but, you know, um, often it's a it's a collaborative effort, too. You yeah. know, one person will be on the phone with an airline, somebody else will be working out a hotel, someone else is trying to find out how many taxis, taxis aren't that yeah. wrecked. You yeah. Know? <laughs> so, yeah. You guys you guys really had your hands full. Yeah. But, you know? um, but I mean, that's just part of what we do, right. you know, um, and, and that's part of what makes our service different is mm -hmm. that, you know, you can call that 1-800 number that you got when you booked online, but right. you really have no uh -huh. idea who's going to answer the phone. Um, and even if they answer the phone and they have, you know, they they pull up your reservation and they know where you are, they still don't know you. No. You know, they don't, they don't, and, and, and there's there's a point at which you stop becoming a person that they know right. and you just become Another. the call that they have to finish, right. yeah. you know. Right, and exactly. So, I've had that happen too. Yeah, so. Yeah. Where's um, your. No, and hopefully you give them good, good, good reviews on the survey they want you to stick around for an extra right. five minutes because exactly. I'm in a hurry to get to a room. I feel nasty. I want to get a shower. Sure, I'll stay on the phone with you. Why not? Uh, yeah. I don't think so. No, I don't right. think so. No, I want to call these guys. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Go to the hotel bar or the airport bar, mm -hmm. sit back and relax while they're working on me getting on my next leg of my trip. Exactly. Right. Yeah. 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 yeah, another story that I tell a lot, we, we do incentive travel too. So yeah. you know, we have companies here in town that give away, you know, sales trips mm -hmm. or whatever for their you know, for their top their top employees. And we had fourteen people down in Cancun again. Um, and it was uh, we had had that big snowstorm that had closed right. the witch tire. Right, 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 right. And right. it happened to be the last day of their yeah. trip. They were all supposed to be coming back right. that day. And I tell people, I was like, you know, in a situation like that, you really you, get, you have two options. There's yeah. there's option A, you know, try to call the airline from Mexico. Oh, have fun with right? that. Right. Um, wait the two hours or whatever mm -hmm. it is because it's snowing for everyone. Yep. Right. Exactly. Um, then when you finally get a hold of somebody, try to figure out your flights. That still doesn't help you when you land in Houston. Where are you going to stay for the night? Right. Um, you know, or or there's option B. You know, we called them. We said, hey, look, you know, the airport's closed. You're not coming home today. You're not going to make But, it. you know, when you land in Houston, we've already got your rooms. They're expecting you. Mm -hmm. You know, um, all your flights are, are been rearranged. Right. Um, when you get home, give me your receipts. We'll help you file your insurance exactly. claims. We'll get you mm -hmm. all your money reimbursed for your mm -hmm. hotel rooms. And, and they went to the bar and they had, you know, mimosas and breakfast. Exactly. You know, yeah. Which okay, personally happy sounds better. What? Yeah. Seriously. <laughs> yeah. Where's right. the mimosas? Yeah. All right. So you've obviously given us, you know, the the uh, the good side of calling you guys right. and hooking it up. What's it cost to use your services? Um, well, nothing. No, no, no. You're, you're, you're providing oh, an insurance through using your service. Well, no, the insurance the insurance, insurance 
they paid for insurance. Okay, okay but that's yeah. with the almost any travel package. You have the option of getting that. Correct, right. Uh, we o- we always it, recommend it. Yeah. We don't sell insurance, but we always recommend that people get it. And then we just, we in that instance, we just help them through the claim. We said, you know, hey, here's the paperwork you need to fill out. This is what you need to provide and made it easy for them to get Man. their money back, you know? I travel a lot. It's not ever that smooth. Yeah, well, we're oh, doing it wrong. for the travel. <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> Call the travel guys. <laughs> <guidance. laughs> Professional, so, sort of. Uh, I thought about Joey's question. Let me make sure I understand it. If I were to spend all day, call everywhere, get the best flight, you know, the price and all that stuff, I could go to you and got probably the same deal. Yeah, well, uh, you know, airfare is the, really the only caveat to our industry because airlines charge what they charge right. and you know they don't charge they don't pay us any commission or anything like that so in the only only in the instance that you're flying a to b you're going to fly to des moines your cousin's going to pick you up you're staying at your grandma's yeah. house in that case we would charge if you wanted our service we would charge a service fee so that if you get stuck in atlanta mm-hmm. or something like yeah. that we can get you back onto another flight and back on your way and 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 you have somebody to call in right. the event that things go sideways any other way, see if you need a rental car, you need a hotel with that flight, you're going on vacation or cruise, all the rest of that is completely free for us to plan. And people say to me, well, if you guys don't charge any more than booking it online, then how do you make any money? I said, well, do you think Expedia does it because they're nice? <laughs> <laughs> they, no, get they're they're they get paid commission. They get paid commission. So the places yeah. that you want to go, the hotels, the you know the rental cars, the cruise lines, the resorts, mm-hmm. they understand that if there's somebody there to support you, somebody there to, and, and really most importantly, qualify you. Mm-hmm. The one thing the internet will never be able to do or is ask you questions based on you and your personality. Right. Whether you're you know you like the party hotel or you want something that's right. quiet and laid back, right. you can't just go online and shop by price and even when you read reviews you don't know who wrote the review is it somebody that works at the hotel I really feel like most of them are written by people that work there yeah or or people that you know the people that complain do they complain about everything in their lives okay exactly I know some people like that I totally know some people so even reviews you gotta kinda like weigh them like you don't really know you know and so we take a lot of time to go check places out firsthand. Um, you know and we have thousands of clients and when they come back we say you know hey Robin how was your trip right. and what did you like what didn't you like right. is there yeah. anything you would have done differently yeah. Yeah. and we get that feedback not only does that help us learn our clients better and help mm-hmm. them plan better trips for them but it gives us real-time feedback of our resorts doing what they say they're right. doing uh, was this hotel convenient to be right. Right. you know to go see the Eiffel Tower, or was it a pain to get around? I remember one of the trips you guys helped me with, um, it was as a car rental, and we wanted to stay in Denver, mm-hmm. okay? And uh, Lori said, I think I got the perfect room, because you know, Lori knows me, mm-hmm. you know, your wife. Um, <laughs> imagine that. Anyway, so, yeah, there's yeah, y'all, there you go. There she and, is. And, and man, Sorry, you guys girls. Me up with the coolest <laughs> room. You know, it was it was kind of like in the art district, and and the, and of course, you know, Lori. You know, she's like, "So, Robin, how's the room? What do you think?" And I'm like, "Okay, this is fantastic. Oh my God, check this out!" And I'm walking through the room, telling her this, that, and everything. She's like, "Good, good, good." You know, so I could just see her doing this little check off in her head, you know. Mm-hmm. But no, the feedback is phenomenal. And if there's an issue, and if there's a problem, hello, help, mm-hmm. and you're there. Yeah, and we and we hope there's not. A problem. Well, yeah, yeah but I mean, come on. Who can foresee, <laughs> yeah. you know, uh, you know, yeah. Atlanta being yeah. frozen? But as they say, stuff does happen. It does. So. Tell me yeah. about some of the trip packages. That <laughs> yeah. well, that's what they say okay. on TV. That's right. Right. <laughs> 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 anyway, some of the trip packages. I want to yeah. know. I mean, what's going on? I mean, between okay, so here you hear about last Vegas minute and, this. You yeah. hear about like pack Groupon. You know, just package yeah. deals. Yeah. You know, <laughs> like, what do you do? I well, mean, the, the big joke the, website. Groupon? Yeah, yeah. I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm gonna, that is a big joke website. Yeah. I mean, I'll, and I'll answer that. I'll answer that in in, in two parts. Um, you know, th- there's always always things going on. I mean, I got a promo code come across my email yesterday that anything between now and I think it was September 20th. Um, if you're booking a last minute trip to Hawaii, the Caribbean, or Mexico, I got an extra 300 bucks off. You know, what? Um, what? we get stuff like that. We have a relationship with suppliers, so they're always oh, telling yeah. us when they've got a deal or if there's a last minute deal. But the thing I would say is, um, you know, we have newsletters, you know, and so you get on a newsletter list and, and we have ones that are last minute deals, you know, sign up. If we come across something that comes into our inbox or we're checking something and we're like, oh, well, this looks really cheap and we check it out and then we'll, we might just send that out to everybody. Hey, if you can go in the next couple yeah. of weeks, check Why out this. I for that, or I just found Yeah, it. how do you sign up for that? Because it's on our that's website. Okay, that's how do you get to there? Our website's really easy as well. It's Travel Agent Wichita. 
Travel agent. Travel <laughs> agent was tough. Got <laughs> in on that early. Right? Okay. <laughs> I also have Wichita, Wichita travel agents. So. Nice. Uh, good job, good job. <laughs> Wichita travel agent. Okay. Dot com, right? Yeah, it's a okay. travel agent Wichita dot com. Oh, that's so it. easy. Right, okay. Jay, so we were we were talking with uh, Jennifer Basing earlier about yeah. local businesses and supporting local businesses. I mean, does booking travel through you even support a local business? It anymore? does. It does. And that's yeah. that's another thing that we say. Is, you know, yeah, shop local. You know, I mean, support. It, it goes for your vacation, too. You know, vacation is one of the biggest discretionary purchases you make in a year. Exactly. You know, and sometimes people spend four, five, six thousand dollars taking their family somewhere. Mm -hmm. You know, is that well, a lot? when you book, <laughs> well, when you book on, you know, <laughs> for Expedia me. or Orbitz yeah. or whatever, that revenue goes to whatever state that server yeah. sits in. Mm -hmm. You know, but if you come and you book that local with a local company, like I said earlier, those commissions are coming back into Wichita. They're right. getting, we're paying our employees. Our employees are buying gas down the street, mm -hmm. and they're you know they're dining going out. out. And, yeah, and, they're shopping. Well, okay, my employees are drinking downtown. You know, but <laughs> yeah. you know, but the money's going back into the city. Exactly. Is the point? You know? <laughs> Where's exactly. my drink? That's why we really like a real people, real life to the spotlight a local business, yeah. so people. Well, understand how important it is. How many good services and products we have right here in Wichita? And there's a lot that we need. I mean, that that would be one thing. I mean, if we could step it up a couple notches, I would definitely say, right now, you know, with everything that's going on and things being so kind of weird, for lack of a better word, um, if we could support local businesses more so now than ever, that would be really nice. Mm -hmm. I mean, I would yeah. really like to see that happen. Uh, Absolutely. I have a question real quick. Okay, so the new airport, how did that affect? Did it make it cheaper to travel? I mean, is it more affordable now? Did it not affect it at all? I mean, is what, it going to? I was going to say, it hasn't done much yet because right, it's, it's not, not open. open so. But I mean, have you seen like... <laughs> <laughs> but, okay, yeah. but but I did. I did. <laughs> but, I, but I hear where you're going with it. Basically, the big thing is that you know um, this will be the third evolution of the Wichita Airport, mm -hmm. and um, the biggest thing is that it's going to give us more gates, mm -hmm. and it's going to allow us to get more flights in and out. And so one thing is it's going to give us more flexibility. It won't be just necessarily two flights a day that go where exactly. you want to go. Um, so airlines will be able to expand their schedules. Mm -hmm. But the most important thing is that, you know, people support the flights that are here. You know, right, if, you right. want, if you want the airport to, to continue to get cheaper and to continue to have more don't options. Don't drive to Kansas City. Don't yeah. drive to Oklahoma City. And, and, and you really guys. what a lot of people don't realize is for, for probably the last four or five years, it hasn't, in most cases, mm -hmm. Even made much sense to drive out of town. I agree with you that. You know, because even if you're saving fifty dollars a person, right. by the time you you know you drive, you pay for parking, you pay for a hotel, you pay for food. You, time is yeah. money. Gave it all back. Time is money. Time is money. <laughs> okay, once again, all right, Jay Dill. That's me. Okay, that's you. And I love this travel agent Wichita dot com. I'm I mean, hello. Sure and then and then on Facebook newsletter. too. That's where I always get all these, and I'm like going, oh, I want to call Lori. I'm going to call Lori. Anyway, so Facebook. Yeah. Travel Junkie? Facebook.com forward slash Travel Junkie. Well, there you go. Twitter Thanks at the Travel coming. Junkie. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a wonderful, real people, real life. We'll see you guys next week. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Everything costs more these days. Gas costs more, utilities cost more, groceries cost more. But what's one thing that will not cost you more? Buying your next vehicle with us. Everything we have is priced $12,995 or under. Bad credit, no credit, no worries. No crazy gimmicks and no bait and switch. We keep it real. Economy Motors, home of Easy Pay. We've got your back. Don't worry, please. Don't worry. Because at Economy Motors, we got your back. Knapp Weaponry is the home of Wichita's newest indoor temperature-controlled shooting range. Mention this ad for two-for-one pricing weekdays from noon to four. Knapp Weaponry is an NRA Business Alliance member that offers NRA and state-certified instruction classes, training, and women's unarmed self-defense classes. We buy and sell new and used guns and offer gunsmith services. Knapp Weaponry offers a free range session with the purchase of a new gun. We also offer transfer services and an array of ammo. Knapp Weaponry, the West Side's best kept secret. Hammond Liquor, home of the coldest beer in town and the lowest prices store-wide. For all your special events, your friends at Hammond Liquor have what you need from beer, wines, spirits, champagne, and more. Open till 8 p.m. every Sunday, Hammond Liquor, West Kellogg and Tyler Road.
Karma Connections 1123 East Douglas wants everyone to enjoy awesome karma. From our one-of-a-kind natural healing arts massage therapies to our plant shop now open with specials every day. Unique gifts, one-of-a-kind finds, treasures made by local artists. A must-see, our new line from House of Fur Babies. Our fur babies love some awesome karma too. Check out the Bacon Cave, home of WorldwideBaconRock.com radio. From our family to yours, love, peace, natural healing, wonderful giggles, always awesome karma. Breaking auto sales is getting better all the time. We're doing it better. We're doing it better all the time. Saving you money big time and saying thank you, Kansas, for making Credit King Auto Sales the number one buy here, pay here dealer. Number one for sales, service selection, and customer satisfaction. Right now, our summer blowout sale is going on with, get this, two years of free gas only at Credit King Auto Sales at the King's Corner, 31st South and Broadway. GoCreditKing.com.